and I've been lucky enough to be Chris's stunt double and Thor's stunt double now for 10 years. What does it feel like to become Thor's stunt double? It's one of the best jobs ever. Um, I've been lucky enough to be Chris's stunt double and Thor's stunt double now for 10 years and I'm a huge fan of Marvel movies anyway. So it's a dream come true. It's been amazing to work with Chris is always. I feel very lucky and privileged, thank you. Rate Chris's stunt skills out of 10. I wish we could rate him um, out of a much higher number because his stunt skills are incredible. If he wasn't a top, top actor, then he'd also be um, a top, top stunt performer. He's very athletic, as you all know, uh, he's a great superhero, so his stunt skills are way over, way over 10, if that's even possible. You all right, mate? Can I lift the Mjolnir? Mjolnir? Mjolnir. Jonathan? Yes, of course, absolutely. It's heavy, but we train a lot. Me and Chris train a lot, so it's liftable, but only by us. You're all not worthy. I used to be a gymnast from the age of four. Throughout my whole childhood as a gymnast, Vitaly Sherbo, the Olympic champion, inspired me to want to continue gymnastic and go to the Olympics. That was my dream, but due to a back injury, I had a Russian coach that left and I grew too tall. You know, I had to give up. The next thing was to, to play football and then I decided I wanted to be a professional stunt performer. I was 23 and I stunt doubled for James Bond in Quantum of Solace. What an amazing experience, what an incredible team that I managed to have the opportunity to work with. Gary Powell, the stunt coordinator, the team was absolutely incredible and I learned so much, so much from so many amazing, amazing people. So I was very fortunate that I had the opportunity to do that at 23. In the UK, you have to be elite at six disciplines. Um, out of, I think a possible 12, I think. The six that I chose were gymnastics, trampolining, 10 meter high diving. I felt that that was my background in skills anyway. And then to finish off the, the six skills, I chose swimming, scuba diving and kickboxing. It was pretty full on training for a good three, four years to get qualified. Tough task, but very proud that um, I managed to do it. How do we prevent injuries when doing stunts? It's all about time to rehearse. We normally start a movie sometimes two, three months before principal photography starts. So we have a good amount of time to break down the script, go through all the action sequences, and make sure that we rehearse them as safely as possible. Starting off very small and going up in increments until it's safe and repeatable, and then be able to film it on set on the day. Why don't stunts have their own category in the Oscars? That is a very, very good question. I definitely feel like we should, 100%. I mean, every other department does. I find it odd that stunts don't, and I think it's about time that we were recognized for our skills, but hopefully that changes very soon. I think it needs to. Um, it really does need to be recognized you know, by the highest um, accolade. So hopefully that happens soon. Nine Gag, I just want to say thank you so much for having me and um, interviewing me and everyone that gave some incredible um, questions to answer. Thank you very much. Sorry I couldn't answer them all, um, but I've had a great time. You guys are legends. Thank you very much for having me. Watch this space, see you soon.